Hello everyone, and welcome to Survival Game Guide in our Sons of the Forest series. We are building the furnace today, which is what you use to upgrade your weapons. Uh, and uh, it's it's a crazy experience, let me just, <laughs> let me just say that. So, uh, if you haven't watched the pickaxe cave walkthrough thing video, uh, I would recommend starting there because that is where you're going to get the blueprint for the furnace. Uh, the furnace uses um, sulfite uh, ore uh, to upgrade your weapon. So, it's, it's an important resource and you need the pickaxe to gather that ore. Uh, so, uh, there will be a link to that video in the description. So, go ahead and watch that first so you can... See kind of what I'm talking about, uh, as well as where to get the furnace recipe. Uh, once you have the furnace recipe, if we bring up our little storage thing here. Actually, let's slow. Let's quick. If you don't mind options. That water is a little loud, I have to say. <laughs> um, if we uh, bring this up uh, here and we go to uh, the, kind of like the new note section... Uh, the furnace is right here, and this is what you need uh, to, to to build it. We'll just like click on it, and then you can see you just put it where you want to put it. I'm putting it here, and we need uh, three wires, 11 sticks, four golf cart batteries, three turtle shells, and seven stones. So uh, it's kind of like it's kind of all, all over the place with its resources, honestly. So let's go ahead and we'll just start putting these in. Now, I had a golf cart uh, battery, but then it, like, randomly disappeared. I'm not, like, I, was, I had it in my hands, and then I didn't have it in my hands, and it was odd. Let's just say that. So, I'm just going to borrow one of the ones that I have, and we'll just replace that later. There we go. Who needs lights? Not us. So we're going to go ahead and finish putting these in, finish off the build, and then we just need the wires. And that is the structure built. Now, uh, to actually upgrade your weapons, there's a few things that you should know. <laughs> uh, first uh, is that uh, you can't um, upgrade all weapons. It's kind of specific on... Uh, the weapons that you that you can upgrade uh, it tends to be the ones that you find out in the world not the ones you craft yourself So for example, you can't craft like a like a wooden bow. You can't upgrade that rather but um, what we'll do is we will upgrade uh, Let's just once this Loads in anyway well, there we go. We'll upgrade the firefighter axe and keep in mind This is kind of like what it looks like right now. It's gonna look different after it's done upgrading and you can see now that we have like this interactive thing so we're gonna go ahead and put that in now here's the bad thing <laughs> here's the part where things get a little intense you see how it's nice and pretty outside right now well we're gonna click the start button basically oh, once i put the sulfite in obviously there we go and we'll go ahead and press power and this happens and it's gonna break the house a little bit <laughs> just so fyi uh it will like it needs like apparently like like it shoots out electricity or whatever this is so it kind of damages stuff so if you have a roof above it uh keep in mind now if we kind of take a look out here we're gonna get some visits from some very unpleasant people uh and it kind of the the degree of severity of what comes loads near your base uh, kind of depends on like the progress that you have made in the uh the game so far so it's starting to rain that is that's like part of it and then we get attacked by wave after wave of mutants so <laughs> so uh this is fun uh, virginia you're like right where the trap is girl and we're just gonna keep getting this going here uh so it lasts for as long as like the the thing is up is how dare you how dare you get be smart uh, how, for how long it, like, it, it upgrades and stuff, so, uh, it takes a little, oh, it takes, uh, it takes a hot minute, and, uh, like I said, oh, you broke my electricity fence, how dare you. And they can go, <laughs> they can go below my trap, we'll just shoot arrows at them. Oh, there you go, yeah, 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 amazing, I love that trap, honestly, so good. And let's just go ahead and reset that, because I know more will be coming. 
Uh, but basically, yeah, they just kind of keep going. Oh, we're shoot, still shooting lasers over there. Uh, and uh, you have to survive it, basically. So I will say, uh, in my instance, um, <laughs> Uh, I kind of, like, I built my base specifically so that, uh, thank you, Virginia, that, like, I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, things coming at me because they, they don't go across the water. So, like, everything at my base is safe. Obviously, the, the stuff that's, like, troubled and, and, and potentially in danger is, you know, all the stuff that's here. Uh, so, if you're going to be upgrading weapons, I would, and that was not nearly as much as what came before but hey i'm not complaining um i would recommend like maybe building the actual furnace somewhere that you can easily oh <laughs> somewhere that you can easily uh defend come this way fingers come this way no leave kelvin alone now leave kelvin alone i'm gonna shoot you kelvin i'm sorry This way, this way, come to me. That's right, come to me, Virginia. Virginia. Okay, I guess we'll just shoot arrows at it. It's fine. But uh, I would basically uh, build your... There we go, thank you. Uh, build your furnace somewhere that is very defendable. So uh, taking it off... Like in the in the water somewhere, not a bad idea. Um, where are you shooting it? Oh, the babies. Uh, and um, oh, I should probably. I just realized how low I on health I am. I should probably quick take some medication. Um, and then having like traps around and you know everything like that, just to just to defend you know that area. And I perhaps maybe not build it like actually in your base. I would say as well. Uh, and because just because like then you have like a, a designated area where you can just you know set it up for like a kill box you know uh, and then you can upgrade your weapons without fear and worry and all that so that is what I would recommend oh more babies that's another baby I really uh, I do apologize but what are you seeing what are you seeing what's over there Hope Kelvin is okay. Kind of like took off. Hope oh, there's not a baby. It looks like. <laughs> I love that trap. It looks like uh, we might be almost done. Looks like it's potentially clearing up. That's Kelvin running back. <clears throat> I think we might be in the clear. We can go check our weapon. And like I said, the length for how long it, how long this whole process takes uh, is kind of dependent on, on the weapon, I feel like. Um, with higher tier weapons taking obviously a little bit longer than lower tier weapons. So you could be, you know, having this kind of siege, if you will, for quite a few minutes. Now, that wasn't too terrible. I haven't progressed too far in the story, so I didn't get, like, the worst of the mutants, in my opinion. Like, the highest, scariest one, I guess, was, like, the twins. Uh, so, not terrible at all. Um, and this is actually, like, a really good way to, like, kind of collect on creepy armor, too. Like, if, if you're like, oh, I need creepy armor. I guess I'll go upgrade a weapon, you know? Like, you can, you can get a good amount there. But here's our finished weapon. It looks like it is done. Let's pull it out. And you can see that the top is now all this, like, gold... Uh, prettiness basically and we can take a look at it in our inventory we can see how the stats have changed there it is and it actually shows you too you can see like that uh, bright orange area that is what has been added to the weapon so it does significantly more damage it's amazing uh we love that that's great uh and you know you can just go through and and upgrade the weapons that you can uh, but just, again, be prepared because you will be facing a mutant siege each time. Now, obviously, if I didn't have anything over there, I would have been A-OK -okay because they can't get to me. They would have just been, like, looking at me and mad, being mad at me over there on the shore. But obviously, I want to, you know, protect what I can over there. Um, but, you know, just kind of keep that in mind, I would say, when you're planning your 
uh, you're upgrading. Uh, if you if you don't want to deal with, I kind of this is like all toasted and stuff. If you don't want to deal uh, with mutants, maybe build your furnace area somewhere where they can't get. Perhaps somewhere you know further away from your base. Your base itself isn't under attack. Uh, I might end up doing that myself, moving this into a another area that is you know a little bit more kill box friendly. I would say. Um, but that's the the furnace there. That's the process that you have to go through. It's kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. It's a good time. Um, so go ahead and get your, your Solithite, uh, upgrade your weapons, and prepare for battle. Thanks for much watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.